We're going to continue working with our fuselage model from a side view now, and we're going to place one, maybe two more cross sections to see if we can really capture the shape of this fuselage. And then just like in the last example, I'm going to go ahead and tweak all of the little settings so that it makes a nice smooth mold line. The purpose of this exercise is just to show you how to accomplish the steps. We're not necessarily going to walk through each and every one because it would take forever. But for right now, the way that you add a cross section somewhere, if you look, we've got cross section one here and zero is here. If we go to cross section zero and click insert, it'll split the difference between those two cross sections and then copy the first one to the middle. So we're at a point. We want to change that back to an ellipse. We'll give it some height and some width. You know, something around 10 feet is probably okay. We have to jump back to the top view and fix this later. But for now, we can adjust this height until it's about what we want it to be. Note how we've put the nose of our fuselage with the nose of the background image, but most of these cross sections are not centered along this line right here. So we're going to have to shift these in Z to line them up. You may also notice that this cross section that we had, now cross section two, is perhaps a little bit forward of where this shape starts to dip down. So we can just as easily bump the height up and then sneak this back a little bit to say here. And then we can start to line these up in Z. Now again, the range on this is far too big for fine control, but we can start to collapse that down, give it a little bit of extra height. And you know what, that's not too bad. And in fact, if we were to come here to our drawing and double check what this is supposed to be, you can just go to your measure tool, click the top and bottom and pull it out. Now I happen to know that that's something just above about 13 feet on this drawing. So what we're going to do is just jump in here and we're going to make the height of this something like 13.2 feet. So that's pretty close. Now we can go through and start adjusting the skinning and lining all these things up. But for cross section one, we would really like this to be right at this inflection before the windshield. So we are going to slide this back in X. We're going to decrease the height a little bit. And we are going to try and line that up just as best as we can. That's probably about right. And honestly, if we make it maybe six and a half, and then collapse Z way down and give it just a nudge. We are probably good enough. Now, another trick that you can do if you're finding that the image in the background isn't good enough, you can always come here to the background tab and you can change the aspect and the scale of this image. So let's say we want to jump this up a little bit bigger and slide it. So let's say maybe three times as big and we're going to shift it until we get this fuselage right here where we want it. Okay. It's really better to use common reference points. So if you happen to know where everything lines up, you can pick reference points and then realign everything. So now we have to come back here. We need to adjust the zoom a little bit and get everything lined up just so, but that's pretty good. Now we can come back to cross section. We can slide this around just a little bit more and pick that point right where we want it to be. And that's not too bad. So the next thing we'll want to do is just come through and add some cross sections in here so that we get a really smooth, easy transition between all of these cross sections. And then we can come in and start adjusting things like our skinning and get it all to smooth out. So it's just a quick example. Here on section one, I don't necessarily want this angle to be 45. So I can turn it and have it be something more akin to say 25 or even 20. We can come back here. We're gonna set this to 90 and 90 on the left and right. Okay, now we're in business and we are gonna dial this back just a little to maybe, yeah, that's actually not too bad where it is. And then we can dial the strength back on this to maybe 0.5 and adjust this down to perhaps maybe even 30. 
So you get the idea that adjusting the skinning on these things can get tricky. Uh, it does take some time, so we're not going to walk through doing this for every single cross-section on the aircraft. I'm going to do it for you, and then we're going to look at how to model wings.